What's up, everybody? You already know who it is. It's Drip God Daryl, and I'm back at you guys with another thing. So, as promised, I am coming out with my predictions for the Western Conference standings. As you guys do know, the NBA season does start today, so it's time to get excited and let's just see how these games go. But um, another thing I want to note is that I will be starting back up with the um, the um, daily NBA game predictions. I know I usually used to show you guys the odds for today, and I will start that back up now that the NBA season has officially started. So be on the lookout for those videos every morning as well. But without further ado, let's switch over and let's get right into the video. All right, so we all switched over as you guys can see, and y'all see the different categories. We have title or bust, contenders, good story, nothing beyond that, pretenders, rebuilding, perpetual mediocrity, blow it all up, and regulate to the G League. Right below, you do see all of the Western Conference teams, and I will be taking reference to the um, standings for the uh, Western Conference last year, as you guys can see, just so that I can have something to base my opinions on. But without further ado, let's get right into it. The teams that I have in title or bust, and before I do start, I do want to note that these teams will be in order from first seeds last seed. So the team I put up here first, that will be the number one seed in my opinion. The team I put last will be the worst seed in my opinion so anyways back to it the teams that i have at title or bust it's really a lot of teams when you think about it but as the number one seed i gotta go with the reigning champs the denver nuggets now the reason i got the denver nuggets in this position is because to me they didn't really get worse um they pretty much kept the same core that they had last year and i think that that core was a great team so i don't really see them you know having too many um adjustments that really need to be made i can see them actually repeating to be honest so i got them as the number one seed for this year as the second seed this year i have the this is actually tough but i'm gonna go with the phoenix suns man this Phoenix Suns team is stacked when it comes to star power. That's something we definitely got to note, that they are stacked when it comes to star power. It should be interesting to see how good they are defensively, but other than that, I feel like this team will definitely outscore plenty of other teams, and offense will be the name of the game for this team, but it should definitely be interesting to see how they play. Let's take a reference point back to the teams over here. All right, so for the third best team in the league, I got the Sacramento Kings. I think that they will be the third seed this year. And, you know, I think they're, they will just build on what they accomplished last year i really do think that they will build on what they accomplished last year also similar to the denver nuggets they didn't really make too many changes they uh ran it back with the core they already had and due to that i don't feel like there will be any you know growing pains or anything of that nature so i got the sacramento kings as the third seed as the fourth seed I got the LA Lakers, and as you guys know, this is my favorite team, and y'all can see how real I am with it, because a lot of people, they will be biased to their favorite team and put them as number one, but I'm being realistic, and the way I'm being realistic is by just acknowledging that although the Lakers did get better, they got a lot of good pieces, with a lot of good pieces comes time that you do need to build chemistry. Also, you do got to understand that LeBron James is currently the oldest player in the league. Yes, I said that. He is the oldest player in the league. You got to think about the possible injuries that may come from LeBron and also um, AD. 
And I'm just being realistic, man. I'm just being realistic. I got them as contenders, but they could also be in title or bust. All four of these teams really could be there. And a couple of other teams that we will mention. But anyways, um, let's keep it moving. Actually, I'm going to put all these teams in title or bust because, man, these, like, a lot, it's a lot going for a lot of these teams when it comes to their aspirations. The Western Conference, they're stacked. But as the fifth seed, I have the LA Clippers. I think the LA Clippers, they will have a good year this year, man. I think that they will be pretty healthy and... I got them at title or bust as well. As we know, this team does have Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. And with two players like that, the only category you can really put that team in is title or bust. Like, to be honest. And like I said, man, just with this, with this, with this roster, well, not with this roster, but with this conference. A lot of teams are just going to end up in that position, title or bust. A lot of these teams have a lot of star power, and it's just like what you expect, man. What you expect. Let me take a look at this area over here. Hmm. All right. So, for the sixth seed, I got to go with the Golden State Warriors. Now, I really think that they may go lower, but... I'm going to have them at the 6th seed just because of their core. You know, you got Draymond, you got Steph Curry, and you got Klay Thompson. But I really didn't like the trade for Chris Paul. As we know, Chris Paul is very injury prone. And he's an older individual. I definitely didn't like that move they had trading um, Jordan Poole for Chris Paul. So I do feel like they will slightly dip. Let's see what they were last year. They were... Oh, they were actually the six seed, so I guess they will be pretty much standing in the same position. But I don't see them, you know, um, being too much better. I actually don't think that they will be better than last year, in my opinion. But it's to be seen. It's definitely to be seen. We never know. But I got them as the six seed. They're also in title or bust because you got Clay, you got Steph, you got uh, Draymond. Like, come on. Of course, they're a title or bust, you know, team. Right behind them, I got the Dallas Mavericks. Now, y'all know I'm from Dallas. Dallas is my home. And I got to I gotta show them a little love. I think that they'll, they'll be contenders, but I don't think it's title or bust. Luka Doncic is still young. This will be another year for Kyrie Irving and Luka Doncic to um, build some more chemistry. And I don't think that they will be better than any of these teams above them, but I do feel like they can still make some noise, and I do think that they are still contenders in the league. Right below them, I got... Oh, shit. Damn. Damn. I forgot the Memphis Grizzlies. I got the Memphis Grizzlies over um, Dallas. I'm going to keep it a band. I got them over Dallas. Let me, let me change that. Let me change that. I got them as... The um, seventh seed. Yeah, I got um, the Memphis Grizzlies as the seventh seed just because they won't have John Morant for the starting of the season. Actually, should I have them at the eighth seed? I heard that Steven Adams got injured. So, uh, should they be the eighth seed? Uh. I'm gonna go eight seed with them. I'm, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna get the benefit of doubt to Dallas as the seven seed, and I'm gonna have the Memphis Grizzlies as the eight seed. Stephen Adams, he did have, I believe, season-ending surgery, so he won't be playing. And you know, you won't have John John ja Morant for the uh, start of the season. Of course, they got Marcus Smart. That's a nice piece, but I got them at the eight seed. Ninth seed, I got. The Minnesota Timberwolves. Now, the Minnesota Timberwolves, I got them actually at contenders as well. Um, I feel like they could have definitely made a lot of noise last year, but last year at the end of the year, um, right before the playoffs, it seems like everything just went wrong. You had um, 
a lot of players injuring themselves. I forgot old boy name, but uh, yeah, the one wing injuring himself, and it just was a lot of BS going on in the midst of them playoffs. So I got them at the ninth seed, and man, let's keep moving. They still contenders though. At the tenth seed, let me let me let me take a look. Let me take a look. Uh, Oklahoma or New Orleans, man. I got New Orleans, bro. I got New Orleans as the 10th seed, and I got them as a contender as well, man. The reason I got them as a contender is because they will be having Zion back, and if he could stay healthy, they definitely could be better than possibly a couple of these teams up here, but you never know when it comes to Zion Hills injury prone, but they do got a good squad, and I think that they are contenders, man. I do think that they are contenders. As the final contender, and yes, I know, I know this, I know this list seeming pretty top heavy when it comes to contenders, but it is what it is. But as the final contender, I have the Oklahoma City Thunder. This team has a lot of potential to upset a lot of teams. As we know, they do got uh, Chet back, who is like a 7-3 center who can shoot and is very long. So that should definitely help them on the defensive end. And it should just be interesting to see how all these young players, you know, mesh. But to move on, right behind them as... The 12th seed, I do have the Spurs. Now, I got the Spurs as the 12th seed, and I'm going to put them right here at good story, nothing beyond that. I do think that they will be a pretty solid team. I can see them around the 35 to 40 um, games of wins, but at the same time, they are still a young team that are rebuilding. Um, of course, they do have their um, number one draft pick, who is, I believe, a 7-4 center, can shoot and all that, Victor Wimanyama. And Devin Vassell, he's been looking great too, but I just don't know, man. I, I just don't know. Um, I, I I just don't know. They're so young that it's like I don't know what to expect. And then at the same time, it'll be hard to expect a team that was the worst in the um in the Western Conference to just jump up that crazily. So I I definitely got them right there as the 12th seed, as the 13th seed. I have the Utah Jazz. Utah Jazz, they got a solid roster, but they don't really have too much star power when it comes to their roster. And I'll put them at good story, nothing beyond that. I do think that they can, you know, steal a couple of wins off some of these better teams um, with Laurie Markkinen. Laurie Markkinen was playing great last year. But I don't feel like they're just better than any of these other teams that I have mentioned. So, I do got them as the 13th seed, and as the 14th seed, I have the Rockets. I got the Rockets. I got the Rockets. Now, the reason I got the Rockets right here is because I do like how their team has a mix of young players and older players. You know, they did actually get Fred and Bleak. Um, they did get Dylan Brooks. I know a lot of people don't really like him, but hey, I think that they do got a decent, you know, little roster. And actually, look, I put them in the wrong place. Let me put them in rebuilding because they got a lot of young guards too, man. They definitely got a, young, a lot of young guards. And it'll be interesting to just see how the veterans and the young guards mesh on this team, man. It should definitely be interesting. But... As the worst team in the league, I got the Trailblazers. Now, I got the Trailblazers here is because, um, unlike the Rockets, they didn't really get too many um, veterans, and they are pretty much fully committed to rebuilding. So I do got them as the worst team for 
the 2023-2024 Western Conference. But, hey, if you enjoyed this video, like the motherfucking video, comment on the motherfucking video, subscribe to the motherfucking channel, turn on notifications and all that good stuff, and I'm out. Peace.